Who doesn't wonder how it feels to be in a relationship? It may even be the thoughts that run through your head before you sleep at night. Well, it's okay to desire being in a relationship. Everyone wants to be loved and deserves to be loved. However, what is not okay is settling for the type of relationship that you do not deserve. It's never okay to turn a blind eye to relationship red flags just because you are afraid to be single. Always remember that you invest your time, emotions, and life in the relationships that you create. So you might as well choose one that serves you well. In today's inspiration calling video, we will help you detect these relationship red flags so you can save yourself as soon as you can. But before we even get there, help us grow our community by subscribing to our channel. This is a safe place to learn more about you, your personality, and anything involving psychology. Please don't forget to click the notification bell too so we can notify you whenever we upload new content. If you're done with that, let's get straight into the video. Number one, narcissism. Narcissistic personality disorder is characterized by self-obsession and an excessive sense of significance. Although not clinically significant, it can appear to be extravagant illusions. Although it may appear that way to people around them, they are not experiencing a breakdown in actuality. In the eyes of a narcissist, the world should revolve around them, and if this idea is challenged, unrest and disaster are unavoidable. Being in an emotional relationship with a narcissistic, egocentric person can be exhausting and stressful. There will never be a time when your needs will come first. 2. They make you feel unworthy. A healthy relationship encourages you to be the best version of yourself. If your partner is regularly saying things that you know will hurt you or trigger your fears, this is a red sign. This could be a manipulation strategy to make you feel bad about yourself and believe you don't deserve better treatment. If they try to do this to you, leave them. Furthermore, sincere love is encouraging. It wishes to encourage and uplift you in your life goals. If your present spouse does not give these, you may want to reconsider. 3. They do not trust you. Any form of connection requires mutual trust. No one wants to believe that their loved ones do not trust them. If your spouse cannot even trust you, you should reconsider your relationship with them because this is a symptom of an unhealthy relationship. Although it is natural to have doubts from time to time, your trust in your partner should be greater than your doubts. Healthy relationships continue to be built on trust. 4. Love Bombing if someone you're interested in lavishes you with love and care and quickly wants to make you their world, you might find it endearing. However, you should be cautious because this can lead to love bombing. Love bombing is an attempt to persuade someone by displays of attention and devotion. This does not relate to a lover who says, I love you all the time. Affection bombers frequently move too quickly in relationships, yet are incapable of sustaining the great love that they provide. It happens when someone manipulates you with an abundance of loving language, gestures, and behavior. It is usually used to acquire your love and trust in order to achieve their own goal. 5. They want to control every step you take. Over control is a classic red flag. It's never normal to have final say over your partner's actions. It's also illogical and impractical for them to try to restrict who you talk to who you hang out with, and even who you work with. People that try to influence your conduct are more concerned with their own interests than with what is best for you. A healthy partnership is characterized by compromise and tolerance for differences. Nobody has control over what another person does. 6. They can't control their anger. Anger is not always a bad emotion. When you're arguing with your partner, it's natural to feel angry. Your partner's feelings do not necessarily represent them, but how they respond to these terrible things does. Confrontation may make you feel intimidated or scared if someone close to you has issues with regulating their rage. A big relationship red flag is a lack of emotional control. We should all feel safe enough to discuss difficult things with a friend or spouse without fear of jeopardizing our own safety. 
Anyone who threatens others out of fury is acting destructively. 7. Codependency or relationship addiction occurs when two people rely exclusively on one another for emotional, psychological, and even bodily support. They become estranged from their other relationships, which can limit personal development. Codependency and the emotional toil it causes may not always emerge as bad behavior. Codependency, on the other hand, can be a common trend in relationships, resulting in issues such as emotional exhaustion and an increase in mental load. 8. Any type of abuse. If your partner tends to resort to any type of abuse, this is a blatant red flag and disrespect to you as a person. Physical abuse is easier to learn about. However, the long-term consequences of emotional and mental abuse can be equally severe. Like physical assault, mental and emotional trauma can cause PTSD. Nobody has ever earned the right to point the finger at you for their own problems. Those should be dealt with in a fair and constructive manner. Never use abuse as a solution to a problem. 9. They get jealous at everything. When their partners become envious, some people find it amusing. Others interpret this as a sign that they genuinely love you and are frightened of losing you. Too much of anything, however, is harmful. If you witness your partner spending more time with a friend than you or showing more affection to others than you, you will naturally feel envious. These are all legitimate reasons to be jealous. But the trouble arises when their judgment is distorted by jealousy to the point that they do not want you to interact with others. Remember that someone who is continually jealous of your relationships with others is more concerned with what they want than with your happiness. 10. They have tendencies of substance abuse. Substance misuse is one of the most obvious red flags. Although addicts deserve a second opportunity via therapy and treatment, Keep in mind that substance misuse is an illness and you may need to assist your spouse in seeking professional care if they require it. Furthermore, substance abuse indicates a person's issues with impulse control and self-destructive practices. When addiction is introduced into a relationship, it is very easy for it to become poisonous. 11. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is another kind of manipulation this is a form of emotional abuse that occurs when your partner causes you to doubt your own sanity or judgment. They will convince you that they are correct and that you are making things up. Later on, even if you did nothing wrong, you will feel bad. This is a major red flag that you should avoid. 12. A lack of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence includes two components, understanding and controlling emotions. People with little emotional intelligence cannot recognize or relate to your emotions. This typically results in ineffective fights or manipulative approaches. 13. They remove you from your social circle. For many of us, our friends and family play an important role in cultivating a sense of community. If someone in your life is negatively influencing your relationship with the people you care about, you should be concerned. One good connection should never come at the expense of another. 14. They do not respect your physical limits. Relationships are bi-directional. Before you do anything, you must ensure that your spouse is on board. If your spouse expresses discomfort with what you're doing to them, respect their wishes and stop immediately. This is the fundamental concept of permission and boundaries. Even the smallest transgression is a major red flag. This applies to seemingly innocuous actions such as embraces, shoulder rubs, or even a sibling continually poking you in the arm. If you say stop and they don't listen, this is a significant red flag. In this case, the issue is escalation. Pushing limits physically could be a warning sign that the other person would not respect them in the long term. People should be able to comprehend and take the words no and stop seriously. 15.
they do not know how to face conflict. Those who choose to avoid conflict may assume that by avoiding conflict, they are preventing the relationship from dissolving. However, it ultimately results in verbose passive hostility. Accepting constructive conflict, no matter how unpleasant it may be at times, is a fundamental component of all relationships. That's it for today's video. You can leave any of your questions, suggestions, or reactions in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is up. Until next time, thank you for watching.